Number 16, 1977 Jefferson Nickel and Mint State 67 Plus with 5 full steps on the reverse. Grade was assigned by NGC. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS, even examples in MS65 appear to be scarce. In MS66, it's very difficult to find whether searching for one or buying one. They just don't show up often. With full steps, it's scarce in any condition and very underappreciated as there are very few examples available. This gem specimen fetched a sum of $1040.62 with buyer's fee. Number 15. This is 2005D Western Waters Washington Quarter, previously from Steve Strong Collection. This problem free true gem is in the threshold of numismatic perfection. In 2005, the US Mint introduced a new obverse design for the Jefferson Nickel. Rather than having a portrait of Thomas Jefferson facing left on the obverse, as it had been from 1938 2004, the new 2005 design now has a closer depiction of Thomas Jefferson and this time he is facing right. In 2005 Mint used this obverse design for all Jefferson nickels, however it used two different designs for the reverse of the coin, which were the Bison and the Western Waters. Most 2005p Western Waters nickels are very common in circulated grades and up to MS63 condition. High MS examples and special strike 5 cent pieces are extremely scarce though. This superb gem was sold for $1,057.50. Number 14. A bicentennial quarter, 1976, the clad quarter dollar in MS68 condition. Remarkably, of the more than 860 million, 1976 the quarter struck from the United States Bicentennial. Few examples have qualified for an MS68 assessment at NGC. Brilliant surfaces exhibit pristine fields, satin luster, and full design detail. It was sold for $1,740. Number 13, 1922, no D. Lincoln sent in circulated condition, graded as EF45 by PCGS. The 1922 no D. strong reverse scent is rare and valuable variety of the Lincoln wheat scent. A coin that was minted by the United States Mint. The term strong reverse refers to the design characteristics on the back of the coin. In the case of 1922 no D. scent, the reverse design shows more pronounced and well-defined details compared to obverse. This penny was sold for $2,040. Number 12. Moving on with this 1979 Lincoln Sentinel 68 red condition, fire orange color adorns rims, progressing lilac gold patina over the central devices and fields. According to Heritage's exceptionally preserved superb gem boasts shimmering mint luster and a bold strike. Tiny ticks on the shoulder and one in front of Lincoln's mouse are noted simply for accuracy. It ended up selling for $2,820. Number 11. This is 1999 P. Jefferson Nickel in MS68 condition with full steps. Registry set collectors actively pursue superb gem examples of this issue, although the present piece is in the class by itself. The strike on this one is needle sharp and the radiant surfaces yield a hint of champagne toning. It was sold for $4,465. Number 10, here is 1924 the Lincoln Sentinel 64 plus red condition. CEC proved an excellent gem. According to NGC, the Denver Mint had not coined since since the small production of early 1922, and the demand for additional pieces returned very slowly to the region it served. Denver coined for the nation's breadbasket states and American farmers were in distressed conditions throughout the decade. Most 1924 descents were poorly struck from a quiet worn dice. Full red gems are elusive, and mean state coins in any grade are in constant demand. Circulated pieces are likewise quite scarce, even in the lowest grades. ZZMS 64 Plus Penny was sold for 
$4,749.75 with buyer's fee. Number 9, moving on with his 1977 S. Lincoln Cent in PR70 red deep cameo condition. A wonderful rose gold Lincoln Cent that is sharply struck and virtually absent of carbon flex. A small area of crimson color is noted at the center of obverse. It was sold for $6,037.50. This is rare 1970 Noah's Wuzwatam in mean, PR69 cameo condition. A presumably distracted mint worker neg neglected to enter an S mint mark on the obverse type for this pristine superb gem. The various Noah's varieties are the keys to the proof Wuzwatam series. This error dime was sold for $6,037.50. Number 7, this is 1975 Lincoln Sentinel 68 red condition. The surfaces are flawless as expected and display rich orange color. Two specks of carbon are noted, one on each side. It was sold for $9,000. Number 6, 1955 Washington Quarter with intense rainbow toning. Graded in mint state 67 plus by PCGS, the Superb Gem exhibits frosty mint luster beneath intense gold blue and iridescent toning that provides exceptional aesthetic appeal. This bad boy was sold for $12,000. Number 5 here is 1982 P. Jefferson Nickel in MS68 plus condition with full steps. Jefferson Nickels of some modern era that were minted during the last 50 years are generally rare in top grades, and that is especially true for those struck during the 1980s. Regardless of their designation or lack thereof, these sharply detailed super gem, the finest that PCGS has examined, feature satin luster and splendid gold blue. And violet toning. It was sold for $12,600. Number 4, this is 1964 Jefferson Nicola in MS67 grade. The strike is excellent, and swirling champagne and ice blue hues further heighten the appeal. The super gem is quite literally the ultimate 1964 Jefferson. It is the finest full steps example certified by PCGS with total population of 6 peers, including this one. It ended up selling for $14,100. Number 3 here is beautifully toned 1962 Washington Quarter in MS67 plus condition. Plated on the PCGS CoinFax webpage, it shows radiant luster and vivid multicolor toning. The strike is sharp and there are no bothersome abrasions. Certified 1962 Washington quarters in super gem condition are scarce and highly sought after by registry set collectors. This one was sold for $26,400. Number 2. 1950 Washington quarter in PR68 condition. With deep cameo designation, razor sharp and almost flawlessly preserved, showing stark contrast between the frosted devices and the liquid like fields. Each side is brilliant, adding to the outstanding white and black appearance. The proof 1950 quarter exists mainly in non cameo grays. Deep cameo pieces are inherently rare. This true gem was sold for $31,200. Number 1, and this is 1919 Lincoln set in MS69 red condition, CAC proven unsurpassed rarity in this grade. Though an armistice was declared late in 1918, the superheated wartime economy rolled on into the following year. The Philadelphia Mint set a record for cent production in 1919 that was not exceeded until 1940, when another war loomed. This issue is a common in all grades, but in MS67 and above they are pretty scarce, and in MS69 grade, almost unheard of. 
This is a single finest specimen reported by PCGS and it was sold for $421,875 with buyer's fee. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more thrilling adventures like this. Take care.